และไม่ใช่ Alrighty Thank you all I can see my screen Let us go there Okay So We are As soon as my computer gets it together We are almost done with October What in the world So It is October 23rd. We have um, one more week of October and boom, we're in November already. So I hope you guys are enjoying your month. Um, we are just diving into what is still available to us. So our escape oils are still available. I jumped on this morning and double checked and we still have the vineyard escape. Um, and I feel like sharing these oils you really have to have it in your diffuser or give people little sample drams maybe. Um, Kate and I did an event at EL school and we had it in our diffusers. The flip side to it is we were out in the open. So, you know, if we were like in a classroom, maybe people could get a better idea of the smells. I love them all. I know like there's some people are like, ah, not a fan. I actually really, really like the escape oils. I took it with me to Missouri and had my cousins try some. So they are still available. Um, great way of sharing, maybe sample people with some drams or have them come over and have it in your diffuser. Coastal Escape has probably been the most positive feedback out of the trio. Again, I like them all. I love all the smells. All right. Um, if you have questions, pop them in the chat. But this is kind of just review of last week, too. So bubble diffusers are still available. I know people love, love, love the bubbles. And we pair it with this Huga oil. Um, it is a cozy blend. So very, I want to say more like woodsy, opposite of citrus, opposite of mint, um, just kind of like a woodsy type of blend. That's probably the best way I can is explain it. And if you want to try some of this, um, one of us, one of your leaders can actually give you like a little dram and you can try it. So that is still available. I, um, if people have been asking about the bubble, push this, I would share, like, I would share this. It's, it's wonderful. I have them in my bathroom, wherever. I have them throughout the house. So I can't get enough of the bubble diffuser. All right, any um, questions about, okay, yeah. Sherlyn likes Amazon and Coastal more. I know, I probably like Vineyard because I feel like I'm in a vineyard drinking wine. So that would explain a lot. <laughs> Lai said this. Same thing, Vineyard is probably her least favorite. Um, yeah, get the chat going, but we are going to dive into our topic of aging. We're going to continue on our series. So um, if you have questions or ideas, just put them in the chat. So here we go. We are traveling oils through the ages. I'm going to cover age 54 to 45. This should be fun. So what are we? We are known as Gen X or vintage, I like to say, because we are middle age. So born and, and I've looked at a few websites and they have um, kind of different age groups, but similar, like I'm just kind of Put it all together. So born 1970 to 1979. And then we're going to dive into a little bit of history. So Generation X or Gen X, me, my people, um, the baby bus generation or the MTV generation, when MTV actually had music. So for you younger people on here, MTV actually had music. It wasn't all about like reality stuff. That kind of came later. Um, Gen X has also been called the baby bus generation because babies were born when the high birth rates of the baby boomer decade declined. So that's kind of what Ray talked about last week um, and why. So this is through my research. 
Um, it's because birth control was introduced in the late, mid to late 1960s. So I just thought this picture was so funny because um, uh, it just reminded me, <laughs> my, my mom is the oldest of five, but even further back, like my grandpa was in the middle of 15 children. So when I saw this picture, it was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's always the joke, right? Like, wow, they had 10 kids or 15 kids or whatever it is. So um, not so much today. So Gen X grew up in a time where there were more two income families and single parent households. Parents were very busy working, so kids were often home alone. And I can definitely say that was me. You know, my dad worked construction. He was out of the house probably by 5.30 in the morning. A lot of his, um, the homes that he built were like in Kapalua, Ka'anapali. My mom was a teacher. Um, although school gets out at 2, she was at a tiny Catholic school, so it was actually 2.15, she was in her classroom till probably four o'clock. She tutored kids. Um, you know, she still checked on my grandparents. Like there was a lot of times that I was left alone. And so this wasn't a surprise to me when I read this. Um, after school activities became more popular. So exactly sports, um, you know, crafts, um, just anything extracurricular, I feel is like what our parents started to do. They started to look for things to do for us because us being home by ourselves wasn't like the right thing, right? They knew that, but everybody had to work. So they knew that. So sports came into um, some of it. My mom put me in sewing. My mom put me in Japanese school. My mom put me in so many things. I can't sew from, I can sew a button. That's about it. I'm awful but she just needed me to be in an activity. So the importance of exercise, the importance of exercise because kids were getting put into different sports to fill the gap and kids' vitamins were introduced. And I know I always talk about this. I was raised on Flintstone vitamins and it was introduced around um, 1968. So late 1960s. And I thought I was super cool. Like we always were like, did you take your Flintstone vitamins? Yeah, I did. Did your mom buy you some? Like. I felt like it was kind of like this fun thing in um, my little girl group um, at Pukalani School. And then later on, uh, we went to Kalama. So just a little bit of history that I wanted to share about our Gen X people, because you're probably having like these little flashbacks like, oh, yeah, I took Flintstone vitamins. Oh, yeah, my mom put me in all kinds of activities because she was working. It was easier for her to pick me up at five o'clock rather than try be at my school by two o'clock. So that's a little bit of history. Um, I want to share my daily routine because now I know. I mean, I was raised on, like I said, those Flintstone vitamins. My parents took the one a days and all of that. And I feel like now that later in life, we are educated. We know better. We do better research. Luckily, we all have come to love, know and love doTERRA. And so as we age, our bodies are changing. Our, our, um, what we actually need are changing, right? When we were in our 20s and 30s, we were having babies. And now we are transitioning to our middle age perimenopausal. Um, I'm not sure if we have our guys on here, but for us women, we are transitioning into this phase of our life. So what is my morning or what am I, what does my routine look like? Um, in the morning, the first thing I do is I take a PB Restore and I drink a very big glass of water. Um, I fast, so I stop eating at seven. So having that big glass of water definitely helps me to feel full. Um, one to two drops of On Guard in my coffee. I've shared this before. I just added, thanks to doTERRA's um, talk uh, at convention, I just started adding the phytoestrogen and bone nutrient, our women's supplements. So if you don't know much about that, go log on to your account and go read a little bit more. But our wonderful age of 45 to 55 
we need this. And um, I know that I, I feel like my body definitely needs it. And why, like, why not start now? And we don't want to wait till your doctor is like, oh, you need to get on some bone supplements or even more. Like a lot of my patients um, take like injections to help their bones because they're getting into this osteopenia, osteoporosis um, thing in their body uh, where they're, you know, where their bones start to get brittle and soft. So don't even go there. Just start it. Just get on it immediately. So lunchtime, what does that look like? My VMG, this has been amazing. I love my LLV, but the VMG drink has been so, so good. So I break my fast around like 11. Um, so lunch, I break my fast with a little snack, but then at lunch I do my VMG Advantage and Recharge and I mix it all together. That's the first thing I do because it makes me feel full and I'm not having such a big lunch where you get tired because I still have to work on my patients. So that's the first thing I do. Um, I mix it all together, drink it, so good. Um, Meta Power assists with my lunch and something light like a sandwich or a salad and then Terrazyme to help digest all of it so you don't feel bloated and gassy and all the things if you're at work, especially. Dinner, another Meta Power assist. Um, Terrazyme after dinner, On Guard Soft Gel, and of course, DDR Prime. So this is kind of what it looks like for me. Um, of course, if there's different things going on where like um, today, for example, I went to the gym with my son. I take a Mito 2 Max because I use it as a pre-workout. Um, another idea is if I'm sore after working on patients all day. I might take a deep blue um, and a copaiba. Now we have our frankincense pills. Oh my gosh. I've just like, one day I came home with a massive headache from just working on patients all day. Took a frankincense um, with boswellic acid. Amazing. But it's not something I do daily. So this is my daily regimen just to give you an idea. Um, any questions? I feel like this, this is a good time to do a little pause. Okay. No. Okay, we're gonna keep rolling. All right, so I wanna share this with all of you. This was the talk that we had um, at convention and she was amazing. I could not stop laughing. I've watched this a few times and I just thought she's, she's just so fun. Um, so her name is Rachel Carter. She is also a founder 2.0 and I want to say a blue diamond. If you want to listen to the, uh, the talk or just that part of convention, I included the link there, but we're going to dive into her portion of um, aging with grace. That's what I'm calling it. Oops. Let me stop this and I'm going to share her talk. Okay. Let's switch, switch, switch. Okay. We are going to her talk. There we go. No, Rachel Carter. Keep it going. Today is National Dance Day. Okay? Come on, get up. You know you want to. This song is from 1983. And all of y'all been there before, right? Here we go. You ready? This room? Right? That tore my roast center cup one time. Thank you. Guy, that's right. We got to keep on moving, right? We got to do it without hurting ourselves or running out of breath, but we got to keep on moving. Who's in my age bracket? We're my Gen Xers, right? 
Let's see if your experience in this age category mirrors mine. Can you relate to any of these images? Ah, 45 to 55. Our bodies are now vintage. Right? Our bones need strengthening. Our eyesight now requires readers. And the great skin migration has begun. Suddenly, our skin and other body parts begin moving south. Can anyone else relate to going from a 34B to a 34B long? You are my people. <laughs> okay, stop. You're going to make me pee. Okay. We answer to mom and bruh from the same people. When our back goes out more than we do. And somehow we manage to hurt ourselves sleeping. Right? Isn't the journey of aging funny? As women, we could either burst into flames or kill someone all on account of our hormones. You're not alone. Outside of pregnancy, this age range gives women our first big physiological change since puberty. It's awesome. But even after 50 years, if we still don't have it all together, we want to pretend we do and look good trying. <laughs> yes. BMG Plus gives us the hormonal bone and skin support we need, providing nutrients for beauty from the inside out. Yes, <laughs> we like that. BMG Plus is full of powerful ingredients like vitamin C, which helps in collagen synthesis, protecting the skin from oxidative stress and improving skin cell turnover, texture, and brightness. Pre, peri, and post, all prefixes that enter our vocabulary in our mid-40s and 50s. Fortunately, our hormones and overall endocrine function can be supported with BMG+. Plus. Another area of targeted support is bone health. BMG+, Plus provides bioavailable calcium, essential for bone density and strength, and includes magnesium, which enhances calcium absorption and supports bone health. Omega-3 fatty acids may help maintain skin hydration and elasticity by supporting the skin's lipid barrier. It also helps in anti-inflammatory properties that can reduce skin redness and irritation. Our hormones are supported by omega-3s, which aid in thyroid health. A well-functioning thyroid is essential for regulating metabolism and energy levels. Also, omegas can influence the production and function of neurotransmitters, such as serotonin, and dopamine, which are essential in mood regulation. We don't want to do something that's going to end up on the news. You know what I mean? <laughs> For bone integrity, omegas can help improve the body's ability to absorb calcium, which is essential for maintaining strong bones in our mid-40s and 50s. A healthy gut microbiome plays a critical role in the gut-skin axis the connection between gut health and skin health. PB Restore helps strengthen the skin's natural barrier by influencing the production of ceramides and other lipids. A strong skin barrier is essential for maintaining hydration and protection against environmental stressors. A healthy gut is also essential for the metabolism and regulation of hormones. The gut helps metabolize and eliminate excess hormones and helps reduce the risk of hormone-related issues like estrogen dominance and symptoms related to menopause. And PB Restore may help improve bone density, 
due to its influence on nutrient absorption and bone health, especially as we age. Yes, there is a good, better, and best option on cellular support and aging gracefully. But there's also an, I'm not going down without a fight option. So let's personalize it. In our 40s, we begin to see wrinkles and sunspots that might not have been there just a few years before. Even though they've been in the making since our teen years when we laid out in the sun with baby oil and iodine. Immortelle, which I affectionately call Queen Esther Oil, hashtag Esther212, supports our neglected skin. When we use it, we're left with the appearance of younger looking skin, and we'll take all the support we can get. As a bonus, Immortelle also supports our middle aged eyes, a little around the eye socket, along with our normal skincare routine phytoestrogen. Yes, you can. <laughs> phytoestrogen because hormones. Whether you're pre, peri, or post, this baby is a lifesaver. Can I get a witness? <laughs> I've decided that everything weird that happens to me is a result of my hormones. Weight gain? Hormones. Forgetful? Hormones. Weird cycle? Hormones. I don't want to clean the house? Hormones. Our bodies are not the same as they used to be, and we are fully aware of it. Amen? Xenoestrogens wreak havoc on our hormones, and while we want to reduce our toxic load from those chemicals, phytoestrogen helps balance us so we can transition with a little more grace. Help a sister out. She needs this. Bone nutrient. In our mid-40s and 50s, our knees, hips, now come with their own sound effects. Just last night I said, did you hear that? <laughs> our bone nutrient was something I thought was meant for old people who need a little additional bone support. And then I broke my foot. When people asked me, true story, how I broke my foot, I had to tell them, I don't know. I took a step and it broke. So guess who is old people who need additional bone support? My podiatrist told me I needed a good calcium bone nutrient. And that's when I added this little gem to my repertoire. As an added bonus, phytoestrogen works better when added with the bone nutrient. And we all know that's good because hormones. Add any or all of these and you will be happy. And so will your family. <laughs> At this age, our body challenges and changes need some love. 